All right, Westchester, let's look at exactly what happened this week, what movement we had in terms of real estate. And we're going to see it just so for, from here. So 12 new properties for sale. You're looking at five properties that decrease in price, one increase, four of them plus three. So you're looking at a total of seven signed contracts. We have one canceled, eight sold, which this is what we're going to jump into a little bit deeper after. Uh, none have rented. One was removed off the market. One is completely withdrawn and one expired, meaning that they weren't three were expired, meaning that they weren't able to sell. So let's look at the closed sales. And as always, we do the same boundary of Westchester. So from the Palmetto to the Turnpike from 8th Street to Miller. So this, this whole chunk is what we're really analyzing. So that way we can be specific on prices and everything. So as you can see, just on, on a glance, you can see that most of these are in the 600s, 700s, 500s. That's the typical price range for our area. And when we look at where the activity is, so here, you can kind of see it's pretty spread out. Like there isn't that much. This area down here in the last couple of months hasn't had much movement. These areas up here have been moving a lot. So that's what we're seeing week over week. Um, and when we go to the results, this is how I like to look at it. I create my own statistics. So I can see the address. I can see what the sale price was compared to what they were asking for. So here, I'm just I'm just going to look at this first one, right? So I'm looking at this one right here. Uh, they were asking 685 and it actually sold for 680. Um, you're talking about a four bedroom, two bath, 2,500 square feet, uh, built in 75. So it's a little bit newer than for our area. No garage. It does have a pool. A little bit larger square foot than our area. We're typically at the 7,500 square feet. It's not waterfront. It was 10 days on the market. So they received an offer or they got hit during the inspection period. And this is a subdivision. So this is in Westchester. And what I will do is I look also, are these all single family homes? Yes, these are. I That's where I specialize. I do all the single family homes. And... I start looking at other ones. And then I also look for if any of them were listed for lower than what they sold, because that's those are usually interesting. So here, this one, they got exactly what they were asking for. This one, lower, lower, exactly what they were asking for. And look at this one at the bottom. This one, they were asking 575 and they got 590. And this is in Miller Heights section seven. So this is actually where I live. Um, so this one was a two bed, two bath, but they almost got 600K for it. So it's good to know. So then I will, you know, I will look at it and analyze it compared to how the other homes look. And the way I get my statistics for the week is I go here and I can see that the average three to two with 2037 square feet in our area for this week was listing at 686 and selling for 650, meaning that I had a 96% list price to sale price ratio. And when you look at the price per square foot, uh, $352 a square foot, and you can expect 42 days. Now, the range has been getting tighter during these last couple of, uh, of weeks. Uh, we're looking at the lowest sold 585 and the highest sold 750. So that way we can really see, analyze it, and you can have the most accurate market activity. And you can even look at the prices and say, hey, Jose, this one's actually one of my neighbors. That's a great comparable for you. So that's what I wanted to share. Hope this is good. This is uh, I, I do this every single week just to make sure that you have the best information possible. All right. Until next time, Westchester.